Hello, welcome to the Gun Shop with me, John. Today we're going to be looking at this the Akar Triple Crown. Comes in a black box, uh, it says Akar on it, it's, it's not particularly exciting. What is inside, however, is exciting. It's got the four slide locks on the top and opens up to reveal the Mammoth Triple Fire. It's pretty awesome. Uh, mammoth, uh, because it is Mammoth, it's got three whole barrels. Oh, it doesn't take a genius to, to work that out, the whole triple crown name. So, in the box you get three chokes in the gun and two chokes out of the gun, uh, and this gun has got a spare three quarter choke with it. A choke key, and they do come in these lovely little blue bags. They're reported by Edgar Brothers, so you get a warranty form for them, and a little instruction manual. As you can see, here she is. So as you can see, you have a sub side with an extra barrel chucked on top, it's probably the easiest way to call it. And as such, the action does relate. You have a very shallow side-by-side -side style action with a large single barrel hanging over the top. Uh, it runs off a single mechanical trigger that runs right, left, and top. And actually is really quite simple and reliable inside. Because of the lack of ejector work, it is very simple. You've just got three hanging sears and it just goes pop, 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 which is good. We like that, actually. That that does work. It's locked up on a single lower bite, which is the only thing that does scare me slightly, is the lack of locking, but that doesn't matter too much. And you have a huge hinge pin bite there. There is no top lever stop, and it just locks in like that. The whole gun, by the way, is cocked just by this single rod here. So I'm just now mildly intrigued. Ah, oh, there you go. I was looking at the proof marks here, actually, just a quick aside. I wondered how they proofed the top barrel. But you can see this barrel is stamped, that barrel is stamped, and then you have an independent stamp on this flat here that says top, with all the measurements. Just a little personal thing there. There we go. So this locks together thus. Really very nicely, actually. The closure is worthy of some decent engineering points. The forehand is quite tight, and it's just on a little lever, lever latch part. This particular one is a manual safety, I think they are all manual safety, and it is just a single massive safety catch, it kind of goes with the style of the gun. Obviously with such a large action, you have a very large headwork running into quite a thick stock, which actually does thin out, it's quite elegant for what it is, I think they've actually designed this quite well. So starting at the back, you have a independent pad, I believe they do do interchangeable ones of these, whether they're actually available or not is a, another question. And that is fitted to a hand fitted plastic piece that is attached to grade three walnut, which I'd like to say looks really good. It does look really good. That comes onto laser cut checkering. Um, I've got to say, I mean, I've got fairly large hands. The grip is designed for big hands. I mean, you could probably choke it up, but the whole thing fills the hand very nicely. And because of the thickness that runs through to the thickness, it also almost runs like a bit of a palm swell, which is ambidextrous, so you could right shoot this quite well left-handed as well. The trigger pulls, because of simplicity in action, are fairly crisp and even. Oh, it's like a Christmas carol. And altogether, it's a really well put together gun. The action is black, silver actions are available barrels. These ones are in 12 bore. These ones are 32 inches long. They do 26 inches to 32 inches. They also do 12, 20, 28 and 410. Now having held the 30 inch 28 bore it is probably one of the more delightful triple barrel guns in the world. Not that there's that many to choose from but it is a really delightful thing. Obviously balance is forward heavy. However for a three barrel gun, Christ. Oh, I'm continuing actually, I might take it back. For a three barrel gun, you're only about two inches in front of the hinge pin, which isn't too bad given the weight of this gun overall in a 32 inch is nine pounds and four ounces, which isn't 
Well, it's not awful for three barrel gun, but that's still bloody heavy. The 26 inch version, I believe, weighs in at eight pounds and 10 ounces. So it's not a huge amount of weight out the front difference. The barrels come in a flat black with a fairly standard parallel eight mil rib with a high vis sight. And as we've already said, it is multi-choked. On the chamber here you've got triple crown, laser etched, they're three inch chambers, you can get them in a three and a half and you can then match that three and a half with a camo stock or a synthetic stock if you require. So here it is, I've strapped it onto the simulator, I'm going to give it a quick whirl and see how it shoots. First thing I will say is it's quite heavy in reality, uh, it's probably not for those of a frail disposition. I can shoot stuff real close with it very well. Alright, so first things first, actually, it's really controlled. Now, uh, that extra weight does make it very, very planted. So everything it feels really, really deliberate with it. Extremely deliberate. However, as long as you're used to that, actually, you can still shoot it very quickly. But you want to keep your gun movement right down. Right down. So certainly I think it requires its own shooting style, less gun movement, minimal energy expenditure because you can really feel that, it does make you work your left arm a lot. Also you're not going to carry it that far, so definitely a bag or maybe even one of those uh, strap on slings so you can catch, chuck the weight over your shoulders. I had a few questions on etiquette with it and maybe it wouldn't be the most polite thing on a game shoot but actually if you think about it from this example it's a non-ejector so you're at no real advantage I'll send the dog on that one uh, you're at no real advantage over somebody with an over and under and an ejector secondly don't think about that third barrel in your game shooting line as a spare barrel an extra barrel it's your follow-up barrel you can go left right Let's say you pull feathers out of the second one, it's a nice third shot. Obviously check before you go anywhere. Marshes, it's nice to have three shots when you only, might only get one opportunity. And you might want to chuck shells everywhere. In fact, some marshes don't even allow semi-automatics, so this is a good option. Those really, really high birds you might want to go and shoot as well. That extra weight is going to make it so deliberate on those high birds that actually you can really work out exactly your game plan before you've even pulled the trigger but you don't want to be bringing it around, so perhaps not one for those who like to shoot too instinctively. It's not a skeet gun, that's for sure. So is it something or nothing? Possibly, but then they've been around for like five years now and they're still selling. They're a real niche market, and I think as long as you appreciate that, and if you try and don't perhaps buy one as a novelty, because I think the novelty will wear off somewhere, fairly quickly. You have to have a purpose to own one of these guns. I'd say the 28 bore in those nice long barrels would be probably one of the finest walked up guns around, providing, you know, the keeper and the owner will get over you having three shots. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.